I can't believe that I haven't tried a Champs-Élysées. Today, I'm gonna learn how to make it. Okay, so the Champs-Élysées, uh, I'm glad I actually looked up how to pronounce that because, well, I would have butchered it much more severely had I not. Uh, this cocktail is essentially, in its simplest form, it's a riff on a sidecar. So sidecar being uh, cognac, orange curacao, and lemon juice. That's what sidecar is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, and you simply substitute the green chartreuse in place of the orange curacao. So it's gonna make a more herbaceous, less orangey, less citrusy version of the sidecar. So, uh, yeah, I can't believe I haven't tried this. Uh, I know it's a favorite of many people. I've really only heard about it a, a few times and it's never been on my radar, so I haven't made it, I haven't tried it, but I have extremely high expectations because I've heard quite a few people say that it's a bit of a head turner. Like you try it, you have a sip of the glass, and you, you got a double take because you realize how bloody good it is, but um, I'm soon to find out. So this cocktail, uh, there was a lot of written references saying that it was actually first featured in the 1930s uh, Savoy cocktail book by Hattery Craddock. But alas, there was one reference saying that, um, or a couple of references saying that Harry Craddock liked to borrow his recipes and not credit the original creator. So um, the Chantelice was actually uh, printed in another cocktail book five years prior in 1925 um called the drinks long and short i believe it was probably should have memorized that one but uh yeah so 1930 it's been around for a long time the particular recipe i'm making is from uh sasha petrowski's regarding cocktails um any of the cocktails in this book are like tried and tested and they've nailed the uh the the particular ratios this one doesn't actually call for Angostura bitters, which every other recipe does. This is a little bit heavier on the cognac, but also heavier on the green chartreuse. So that's why I picked this one as well. Uh, let's get started on the cocktail and measure out 60 ml, two ounces of cognac. I'm using Pereira Ferrand um, 1940, sorry, 1840. 1840, which is Sorry for the phone interruptions. I'm using Pierre Ferrand uh, 1840, which is modeled on the uh, 1840 cognac from, from back in the day. And it has, apparently has quite waxy notes. I don't particularly get that. I, I taste kind of uh, apricot, honey, armadish kind of notes, but I guess honey, you can get that, that waxy note as well. Uh, then we have 15 ml, half an ounce of green chartreuse, herbal liqueur. Quite potent at 55%. I have to double check every time, 55%. Then we have fresh lemon juice, 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. I love and hate the citrus press because it's, it's good for where the juice exits. It's quite narrow, so therefore it goes into a jigger quite easily, but you have a relatively average size lemon, it doesn't quite fit in the juicer. It fits easily in this one, but the holes are quite far apart, so it's not that great when trying to pour it into a jigger. Seven and a half mil, a quarter ounce of simple syrup. That's it. It's that simple. Four ingredients. Plenty of ice. Shake for 12 to 15 seconds. Make sure it gets strained, fine strained into a chilled coupe glass, a nice vintage stemmed cocktail glass. I know this glass is quite big, so might come up fairly short. Not too bad. As far as garnish goes, uh, a lemon twist.
and just garnish with a twist of citrus. That's pretty basic bitch garnish. <laughs> the Champs Elysees. Cheers. Waxy on the nose. Now, it, it's personally, I don't think, <laughs> I actually took that take a few, I took that take? I did that take a few times because the, the autofocus was off and all this kind of stuff. But um, personally, as you can see, I've, I've had a few sips already. Is it my favorite cocktail? No. Can I appreciate it? Yes. The green chartreuse goes very well in this cocktail, even though there's a, a decent sized measure which would normally overtake the cocktail. I, I think the the cognac, it kind of stands up to it. And it's it's citrus forward. Uh, you get those apricotty honey notes from this particular cognac. This cognac is delicious, by the way. Yeah, it's a, it's a good cocktail. It's just, I had really high expectations. I mean, I could try the other proportions um, with the, the lower ratios, maybe. And with bitters, yeah. I forgot about the bitters, but. Delicious nonetheless, but I did have high expectations. Do you like the Shons Lisa? If you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.